Eyes forward, look at me. Show no signs of weakness. Do not embarrass yourself in front of these people. Fix your posture, choose front and center. You are the star of the show. Nothing else matters but you. If you believe it, then so will they. Do you understand? Yes. Tell me you believe. I believe. Good. Now look here, Daisy. Focus. That's it. Focus. Give me more. More emotion. Fierce. Action. Danger. Stay focused. Do not freeze. Finish the scene. You guys like that last take? You guys ready to move on? Yeah, I think it sounded great. No, up to you, Vi. Um, can I look at it? Uh, sure, yeah. We've searched everywhere, Daisy. Every square inch, nothing. Keep searching. Daisy, it isn't here. We have to move. The Giants will be here any minute and we're running low on rounds. It is here, I know it. Is. Keep searching. Daisy, listen to me. It's over. It's over. We need to go. Then go. I'm not leaving until I find it. You're really gonna give your life for some dossier? Daisy, please, come with me. Otto, go. Go. I have to do this. I have to do it for my country. I have to win this war. Okay, and you see the giant robot. You're off. It's massive. It's menacing. Daisy! Daisy! And cut! Well, I think that was the best one yet. Yeah? I think so too. What about you, Violet? Satisfied? Yeah. Yeah? Yes, it's good. All right, let's move on. Everybody get ready for scene 18B. Yeah, I think it looked really good, Violet. Lex, you wanna hit me with the touch up? Done better. A lot better. Yeah. And why didn't you? I told you not to freeze and to give it your all, and what did you do? You gave a flawed performance. Everything you've done to get here, just for that. Quit wasting everyone's time, and for fuck's sake, be the performer you know you can be. What do you mean? I imagine it to be a, a large canvas of all the beautiful environments surrounding our characters. You know, really show off the world. It's a huge part of this series. I figure a wide shot would be perfect for that. I get that, but I think a medium will be better for this. It's a pacing thing, Dallas. Okay? All right, well, you're, you're, can you work with me for once in your life, please, Max? I want this to look like a movie and not like some cheap cable ripoff, dude. Chill the fuck out, all right? You know I've done this before. These shots, they have to like flow together and shit, and a wide's gonna mess it all up, okay? Okay, well, listen, I'm the one that wrote the scene, right? And it takes place on an airship. You're gonna get a broader view of the airship if you use the wide shot. It's gonna look a lot more cinematic, not like a damn spy kids movie. I appreciate the suggestion, but I've made my mind. It's fine. We're going with the medium. Missed opportunity, that's all I'm gonna say. Yo, how's that uh, screenplay going, Brian? Oh, pretty good, actually. I'm on the second draft. I might pitch it to a producer when it's ready. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, you want to direct it too, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, I just need, like, actors and crew and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, this is that psychological thriller, right? Yeah, that's the one. Whatever that sci-fi one you want to do. The 
crazy concept about zombies in the Cold War? I fucked with that, bro. That's kind of cool. I, I shelved it for now. I just I feel like it's too much to ask for. I think I'll just need like you know, bigger production. Yeah, I feel you. Well, whatever it is, count me in. I like your idea. You're tight. Thanks, dude. I got your number, so we can set it up. Right on. Right on. Yo, these cookies are the bomb, bro. You try this? Dude, I've had like three of them. They're actually pretty good. Yeah, but way better than that powdery crap we had last week. Just give us some milk for that shit. Yeah, well, my father's actually the producer of this one, and we want to do something really spectacular with it, you know? Yeah. No, don't, no more dumb cash grab comedies or sitcoms or something. We want to do something something epic, you know, with, with the big st special effects and that sort of thing. Yeah, this is like a big step up for you. No, it is. I mean, every actor's got to have their big breakout role, and I, I feel like this really might be it for me. You know, they say television's coming back. Uh, you seen the show Lost? Oh yeah, me and my boyfriend just started watching that. We love that show. Yeah, well I was actually on the first episode. Were you really? Yeah, a secondary role, but uh, it's still a big break for me, so. Yeah. No, I'm telling you, I, I got on the set and the first thing I see is this massive airplane. Hey, Violet? Uh, hey. Oh, hi, Ben. Uh, it's, it's Brian. Oh, Brian, right. I, I just want to say you're, you're doing an amazing job out there. I mean, it's like, like really good. Thanks. Yeah, I saw you back at the theater when I worked Spotlight. You were in Chicago. You played the, the main girl. Roxy. Yeah, you were, you were really good in that. You have a really good voice. Thanks so much. So, uh, can I ask you, I, I'm writing a screenplay. It's for like a psychological thriller about a singer's struggle, you know? Okay. And I was wondering if you'd be interested in auditioning for the lead. I, I think you would be a perfect fit. Oh, well... And don't worry, there's gonna be producers, big money, it's gonna be a big project. I'll probably ask Gio's dad to help produce it, and Max will definitely get on board as well. Um, okay, I'll think about it. Yeah, don't, don't worry, take your time. I, I, I know you want to jump on to the next project, but, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you try these, uh, these, these cookies? Huh? These snickerdoodles, they're, like, really damn good. Oh, I can't have this. Too much sugar. Oh! Yeah, sure. Man, fuck you, Hudson. I'll see you at work. Hey, uh, Brian! Hey, Max? Get the lights on. Ready to roll. Got it. You ready, Vi? Yeah. Uh, hey, Lexi? Yeah? Could you, uh, touch up her face, like, redefine some of the scars? Uh, sure. Do they look bad to you? No, no, it's just that they kind of look unrealistic, you know? I mean, just touch up the scars on the face and then the one on the lip, too. It's gotta look real, you know? She just got off a battlefield, yeah? Yeah, sure. Great. Good luck, bud. Okay, let me see. I don't know what Max is talking about. The scars look fine. You think so? I think they look good. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Like, I like Max, but sometimes he could just be a pretentious asshole sometimes. Like, it always has to be his way, and nothing's ever good enough. Look good? Violet? Violet? Hello? Oh, uh, it looks great, thanks. Sure. Well... Break a leg. G R A V I T A S. Gravitas. I am gravitas. All right, I got the fan ready. Yeah. Okay, turn it on, set it to high. Got it. Great, great. Looks good, looks good. Uh, Derek, how's sound? Uh, yeah, it's looking good, Max. Wonderful. Okay. You guys ready? Geo, mm high? -hmm. Let's do it. All right, so remember, there are an airship. It's high up in the air. It's windy. There's planes, dog fighting around you. And what kind of planes? What? I, what, what kind of planes? I, I don't know, like World War II ones. Okay, what kind of planes? I don't know, it's diesel punk, it's fiction. Uh, think of those old planes from that old movie, uh, Hell's Angels. Okay, 
Well, that's a World War I film with World War I planes. Jesus, Gio. Oh, look, I... Dallas? They see 18s. They're kind of like, uh, like Spitfires. They have two pairs of each of these. Spitfires. There you go. Got it in your mind? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I just, you know, I need to figure out which I'm playing to this. All right, all right, right, here we go, here we go. There's Spitfires flying around here. It's windy, okay? Got it? Yes, yes, we got it. Okay, cool. Roll sound. Sound speed. Camera rolling. Rolling. And action. So? I was distracted. I couldn't focus. Everyone, it was everyone. They wouldn't shut the fuck up. So it wasn't your fault? No. Those crude jerk offs kept telling me about their stupid screenplay, which I don't fucking care about. Yes, go on. And that bitch who couldn't do makeup for life depending on it. Jesus, I look like a circus clown with this shit all over my face. And that director, he kept changing the shot, changing the lights, change the line, more makeup, wide shot or medium shot, can you just fucking choose what's on a fucking green screen? And you let us affect you. No, I blocked it all out. I kept my focus every single time until the last take. What happened on the last take? I forgot the line. You forgot the line. Yes, I was supposed to say, Otto, get down. We're 18, 12 o'clock. What did you say? I said, Otto, get down. We're Spitfires, 12 o'clock. Spitfires? Yes, Spitfires. There are no Spitfires in this story. I just said Spitfires because that idiot Giovanni kept telling himself he's surrounded by fucking Spitfires. So you ruined the scene? Yes, I mean, we did one more take afterwards and I finally got it, but I messed up. I never mess up, not like that. Did you let them affect you? Now you've got the monologue. You know this like the back of your hand. Yes. This you can't mess up. If you do, you're dead to me. an awesome job in that last scene. I mean, seriously, that is the best acting I've ever seen. I mean, like, you deserve an award. Thank you. You know, my sister's auditioning for Disney Channel or something, and she really looks up to you for inspiration. Hmm. Yeah, she, like, watched you on the internet. You know, YouTube? YouTube? Yeah, it's like this whole website or something. Anyways, uh, maybe one day you two could meet. Uh, give her some pointers or something. If you can. I know you're really busy. So, now you're doing a monologue? Uh, yeah, monologue, big one. Well, good luck. Thanks. Chris! What the hell? You got fucking cookie crumbs all over the camera. Oh, did I? Shit, sorry. Do not eat when handling the cameraman. This thing's with more than you, got it? Yeah, sure. Hey! What did I just say? Jesus Christ! Oh, gets better every time we read it. Oh yeah? Yeah. Bravo, man. Yeah, it's really well written. Oh, thank you. You know, I actually wrote this part with you in mind, Vi. Really? Yeah. You know, I used to watch you down at the theater all the time, and I remember on our last feature with Max, I told him you were the best actress I think I've ever seen in my life. 
And he didn't believe me at first, so I took him to go see Phantom of the Opera, and when we got there, we didn't know you were playing Eric. It's just, everything about that performance was just, it, words can't even describe it. It's like, even the effects, like the blood, the swelling, your, your eyes, your face, just, anyways, just, we casted you, and the rest is history. It was an instant yes. Well, thank you both so much for this opportunity and for really the project. We're very lucky to have you. Anyways, you ready to do the uh, monologue? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's get it done, and then uh, that'll be a wrap for today. Chris? Hey, listen, um, between you and I, I actually intended for you to be lead in this, but Gio's dad holds the shots around here, so Gio gets to be the star. This is his show, I guess. Anyways, um, good luck out there, and I, I know you're going to get All right, so just uh, get up on here. Good, great. Uh, the sword. Uh, can you give me the sword, Darren? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I got you, bro. So, uh, yo, which one? Dude, they're labeled. The small one, just the sickle. Oh, can you just grab me the sickle? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Here you go. No, man, give it to her. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. There you go. Uh, anyways, um, so, just like you rehearsed, you're gonna hold the thing up like this. You're screaming over battle fire to a crowd of soldiers, and you've just fought a long and brutal war. All right, you're tired, but you know the fight must go on. Got it? Yes. All right, heroic, brave, fierce. That's what I want to see and feel from this scene. It's gonna look great when we put it all together. Yes, got it. Hey, quiet on set! Hey, what's going on? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... it's just... It's a hard monologue, I know. But I know you'll get through it. It's not the monologue, it's... I... What? What is it? It's hard to explain. I don't know if you'd understand. I'm sure I will, just... No, don't worry. Just give me a minute. Okay, uh... Sure, just, uh, take your time. So this is it? This is where you give up? Fuck you. Don't give up here, not now. No, no, I can't do it. I don't want to do it. What do you mean you don't want to do it? Are you telling me that everything, all your life's work was for nothing? I love what I do. I always have. It's just... It's tearing me apart. It's ruining me. Everyone hates me. So what? They are nothing. God, I just... I just didn't want all the attention, all the expectations. The need for perfection, I... It's not why I perform. I do it for fun. To make friends, I... Ever since Phantom, I... Lost everything. So what now? Go run back home to Mommy, tell her she was right and that you shouldn't have pursued your dreams? Go back to beauty school and cut hair for the rest of your life. Is that what you're saying? If you quit now, you prove Mom right. You're pathetic. You're nothing.
sisters in arms. Together we have risen from the ashes of our oppressors. We have lost our homes and our loved ones, but we have not lost our fighting spirit. We have not lost our will to be free. Now we have gone a long way, and we have come too far to go back now. Today will be remembered as the day we finally put those bastards on the run. The day we put the fear of God into the minds of their heartless, gutless, so-called soldiers. Tomorrow will be remembered for when we finally spill their blood on their land. Turn their monuments into desolate ash and rubble. Burn their flags and raise ours atop a mountain of their rat-infested corpses. Have them at their knees begging for mercy. Mercy. Mercy they will not get. Mercy is not an option anymore. For this is not the beginning, but it is far from the end. We may have won this battle, but this war is not yet won. But trust me when I say it will be. This is our war now. This is my war. I will not quit. I will not rest until I see every single one of them dead, burning in a pit of mud and blood like the waste of human flesh they are. Stand by me, fight with me, and we will finally be free.
Camera speed. And action. Man, Hudson, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. All right, I'll see you at work. No, <laughs> <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep, keep wrong. Keep keep wrong. Keep yeah, keep keep wrong. <laughs> All right. <laughs>